Today I am doing a tutorial with the Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill palette. I did this red smoky eye look with the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is such a great palette. So versatile. There's so many different looks you can create with this. So impressed with how this palette came out. But one thing I do wish this palette had is a matte white shade. I use matte white shades to set my concealer with to start my eyeshadow. So I do wish they had that. Other than that, this palette did not disappoint me at all. I literally used it for the highlight on my cheeks. Do you guys see this poppin' highlight? Like, she did that. You will definitely see more makeup looks coming from this because, like, I'm going to be using this 24-7. So, yeah, if you guys want to learn how to get this red smoky eye look, then just keep on watching. Hey, guys. I'm literally so excited for this tutorial. The time has come. I'm so over the moon right now. Let me kind of address my face right now. I have one eye done and my eyebrows done. Um, for my brows, I used the e.l.f. liner and brow cream in the shade Espresso. And I used the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in the shade Brunette. So yeah, let's get started. So, first off, I'm priming my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape. What YouTuber doesn't use this? Name one. I bet you can't. Um, this is in the shade Light. And I normally just do like two dots. And then I blend that out with my Morphe sponge. This is the R37. You could literally use any brush you want. I'm taking my Airspun powder. Let's jump right in. I did this red smoky eye. This was the first winged out eyeshadow that I've ever done successfully. I got it. That did not just happen. That did not just happen. Guys, I stabbed an eyeshadow with this and I'm shook. Oh my gosh! It took a big chunk out! So we're going in with Pooter with the M513. And we're basically going to use this as our transition color. So I first start in the crease with my transition color. And then once the product starts to come off, I start to wing it out a little bit. Just little by little because if you go in with a lot of product like this, it's not going to blend very well and it's gonna be a nightmare. But, like, it... <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> so next I wanna take Roxanne on my M433. This one. And I'm just gonna use that to further define my crease. So I'm putting this on the outer corner and connecting it to the edge of my eye, just so you get that, you know, winged out eyeshadow. Now I'm going to take Jax, which is a dark burgundy, oh my gosh, it's my favorite color in the palette, favorite matte at least. I'm going to take this dark burgundy on the same, on the same M433, and I'm just going to do exactly, this brush is poking my eye. I'm going to do exactly what I just did with Roxanne. Here's the tricky part. So now we're going to go in to Abyss, which is the matte black in the palette. And I'm taking my E18, which is a dense pencil brush. So you're going to start pressing it on and I swipe a little bit and you're just going to build up the product. And then once I got a good amount on the outer corner, I start and I take the pencil brush and I start flicking it out a little bit. So I just flick it 
in little motions. I'm just gonna take my M513 with that pooter shade again and just blend that out a little more. And you can take the shades um, Roxanne and Jax again and just re-intensify that. So I'm gonna take um, Roxanne and Jax again and I'm gonna mix those two burgundy shades together and I'm put them on the center of my lid just to help blend the lid color to the black. Now's kind of the really extra part, but I use three lid shades because the first two weren't giving me what I wanted and then the third one finally did, but I don't wanna like just do the third one on this eye because I don't want it to look different, so I'm gonna go through all three steps. So yeah. I'm gonna take the M508, which is typically used for cutting your crease, but I feel it's a really good shader brush so, just my opinion. I'm taking the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. And I'm giving that a good spritz. And I'm going to take Hillster, which is this dark burgundy color, which is gorgeous. But it wasn't as shimmery as I wanted it to be. And neither was the second one. And they weren't as bright as I wanted it to be either. Then I'm going to take Cran Apple which is the shade right here. This is the shade that I uh, mangled earlier. And then the final shade that I'm gonna use, which I'm gonna use with my finger, because I feel like it's better when you use your finger with this eyeshadow. I'm gonna use Firework, which is the last red shade that's going on our lid. For the lashes, I'm using the Blinking Butte Samantha lashes. These lashes are life. They just complete the look. Like, this eye looks stupid without lashes. And my eyelash just fell off. Like, this eye looks stupid without eyelashes. This eye just looks like gorgeous. I'm using the Duo Dark Tone Lash Glue. <coughs> so, now that the lashes are on the eyeshadow is pretty even i'm gonna go wet my sponge real quick i'm so dumb i'm i hate myself and i do have fallout right around here so i'm gonna take a makeup wipe and just wipe that all off stop coughing now we're gonna prime I'm actually gonna use two primers because I'm really extra the first primer I have not used <laughs> this is the Tarte poreless mattifying primer and I'm gonna put it just right here in this area honestly I don't have big pores but I use poreless primers um, just cuz I feel like they like I don't know they even out my skin a lot I don't know what do I know this is a primer I use every day. I love this primer. Uh, this is the Milani Prime Perfection Face Primer. This is the hydrating and pore minimizing one. I use it just for the hydrating aspect because I have dry skin. But I also just put this right here and one on my forehead. And then, oh yeah, on my nose too. If you are using this for the poreless aspect, I would tap it in <coughs> just because it would fill in the pores that way because if you swipe it or rub it, it'll just go right over the pores and it'll just disperse the product on top of your skin instead of pushing it into your pores, if that makes sense. For foundation, I am using the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. This is in the shade 20. And I just like to dot that on my skin everywhere. Then I'm using my Morphe sponge to blend that in. Okay, and then around my eyebrow area, I'm using the E8. Just because it gets around the eyebrows and stuff really well. Okay. 
Okay, so now for concealer, the Tarte Shape Tape. I hate when I see YouTubers draw, like fill in a whole triangle right here, cause really, like come on now, like your foundation basically, I mean, I don't put foundation under my eyes just to avoid cakiness with like excess product. But when YouTubers put foundation all over their face and then they're like, and I put a buttload of concealer on, like, I don't get it. Like, you really don't need a lot. Like, Harley, like, this is a lot. For me, it is. I'm just going to make sure there are no creases first. And then I'm going to go in with my airspun powder. And I'm going to take this M438 and go around my eyebrows and my T-zone. I like this brush because it really gets around your eyebrows real well without getting powder in them. And then for the rest of the face, I use the E41. This is such a big brush. I'm using the Milani Baked Bronzer in Dolce, Dolce um, and the R2 to bronze up my face. Then for blush, I'm using the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. I'm using the M530 brush with this. Then to contour, I'm using the Wet n Wild Contour Palette in Dulce de Leche. I'm using the dark color. I don't even know where to contour, to be honest. I don't know, like, I know where my cheekbones are, but I just, mm. Then for the lower lash line, I'm going to take the E36, and I'm going to take... Roxanne and buff that along the lower lash line. And I'm gonna connect this to the eyeshadow. I'm gonna take it about three fourths of the way in because I don't want it to come completely in and like close my eyes up. Then I'm gonna take my M432 and Abyss. I'm going to stamp that on the lower lash line. Oh yeah. And of course, connect it. No! I really just did that. I'm taking this Marc Jacobs Black Eyeliner. I'm a tight line and waterline. Next is mascara. L'Oreal Voluminous. This makeup look is so dramatic. <laughs> I need to tone it down a little bit. Honestly, this is a lot of makeup for a 17 year old. I kind of want to like try and use one of these colors for a highlight. I'm using my M510 and I'm going to go in with In Light. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait. That was uh, too strong. This is the E17. I've never used this for this purpose before but it's actually working. This is the same nude I always use. This is the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in the shade Adorable, number 10. I'm taking the Morphe Prep and Set and spraying my whole face, even though I'm not going anywhere. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this makeup tutorial and congrats Jacqueline on your collab with Morphe. I'm so proud of you. I'm like saying that like I'm your mother or something. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm honestly really shook with how this palette turned out. Congratulations to you Jacqueline. You definitely deserve everything that comes your way. Not the hate though. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this red smoky eye, if that's what you would call it. Um, I definitely will be using this so much more. I want to use like the blues and the greens and the purples and I just can't wait. This is such a generic look, 
but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Okay. I don't think I've ever been more proud of myself. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> that was uh, bloopers. <laughs>